Hi, let's continue with our SAT practice test. The perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 624 centimeters. The height of this triangle is k, the square root of 3 centimeters, where k is a constant. What is the value of k? Here I have already drawn my equilateral triangle. In an equilateral triangle, all three sides have the same length. Let's say that the length of this side is L, then the length of this side is also L, and finally the length of this side is also L. We also know that the perimeter of this equilateral triangle is 624 centimeters. And now we must recall that the perimeter is the sum of all the sides of the triangle. So here we have L, L plus L plus L. L plus L plus L give us three times L, and this is equal to 624. We're going to divide both sides by three by three. In that way, L is equal to 624 divided by 3, that gives us 208 centimeters. Then we are going to replace this value over here. I'm going to replace L with 208. The length of this side is 208. And the length of this side is also 208. And then we have that. The height of this triangle is k, the square root of 3 centimeters. I'm going to draw the height over here, and here we have 90 degrees. And the length of this height is k, the square root of 3 centimeters. Don't forget that in an equilateral triangle, the height is also the perpendicular bisector. Then the height is going to divide this side into two equal segments. The length of this segment is half of 208 and that is 104. Finally, the length of this side is also half of 208, or 104. And don't forget that in an equilateral triangle, all the interior angles have the same measure, and that is 60 degrees. Now, let's focus on this little triangle. And pay attention to our little triangle. Here we have 90 degrees, then this is a right triangle, and the sum of these two angles must be 90 degrees. Here we have 60 degrees, so we need 30 more degrees to get 90 degrees. And now pay attention to our super famous triangle. This is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Don't forget that in a right triangle, the side opposite to 90 degrees is the hypotenuse and is the largest side. On the other hand, the side opposite to 30 degrees is the shortest side, and in the 30, 60, 90 triangle is equal to the hypotenuse divided by 2. Finally, the side opposite to 60 degrees is equal to the hypotenuse divided by 2 times the square root of 3. The hypotenuse divided by 2 is equal to 208 divided by 2, that gives us 104, and then comes the square root of 3. Finally, these two quantities are equal, then the value of k is, is, is 104. That's it, that is our final answer. k is equal to 104. And we are done with this problem. That's all for today, we will continue with our SAT practice test in the following videos. See ya!